السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلاۃ وسلام اشرف الانبیاء والمرسلین نبینا محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم ڈیئر برادرز اینڈ سسٹرز عید مبارک اینڈ گڈ ٹو سو بی گڈ ٹو بی فرنٹ آف یو گائز ماشاء اللہ وی لو ٹو اسٹاپ ود اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر لا الہ الا اللہ اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر وللہ الحمد اٹس اے ڈے آف جوائے ڈے آف سیلیبریشن ماشاء اللہ ایم شیور ایوری ون سیلیبریٹنگ انجوائنگ یور سیلف So in the studio, mashallah, I have two special guests with me. Um, we want to hear their say as well, mashallah, their two new River Brothers, mashallah. I'm so proud to be with them. And they always inspire me and everybody else, mashallah. So they welcome in our community to the Ummah. That's a great to know. So on my left, okay, I was going to go right, but in my left, mashallah, we have Brother Tahseen. Mashallah, he became Muslim a year ago, I think. Brother Tahseen, if you could introduce yourself, please. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Tassin Pool. I'm 19 years old. Uh, uh, my heritage is English and Irish. I was born in East London and alhamdulillah, I've been a river for a year and a half. So, yeah, alhamdulillah. Zakmullah, khair for your time. Eid Mubarak to you. Eid Mubarak. Alhamdulillah. How was your Eid? Let's start with you. Let's finish you off first. Your Eid. Well, how I mean, was it? Brother, you know how it's going to be. Yeah? You wake <laughs> up, Fajr, huh? You know, go to the masjid, pray with your brothers for the you know? I'll come back to you to know your journey to Islam, inshallah. inshallah. On my right, mashallah, we've been here before. Everyone knows you now. Alhamdulillah. Zakallah khair for your time again, Brother Dawood. If you could introduce yourself and how was your Eid day? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I'm David uh, Dawood Mikes now. So I've been Muslim for about a bit under two years. I originally come from Austria. I've been born and raised there and then about two years ago I came to the UK and now also I live in uh, East London. Alhamdulillah. How was your Eid day? Alhamdulillah, it was, it was very good. Uh, also, same as Brother Tassin, get up, uh, go to the mosque, pray together with everyone. I was here at ELM actually, it was mashallah, really great. The Imam is very good. And yeah, afterwards meeting up with some uh, brothers, having some food, having some tea. Alhamdulillah, it was very good. May Allah bless you, my brother. Zakallahu khair. Brother Tahsin, I'm going to come to you because um, Brother Dawood been here before, mashallah. He, mm. We've done a show with him regarding his journey to Islam. So I want to start with you. Um, how did you hear about Islam? So for me, um, the first time I'd say I was hearing about Islam was around the time I was in year seven. So I would have been around 12. Obviously, I went to secondary school where there was a lot of Muslims around me and obviously this exposure, you know, I begin to learn more about it. But the same, around the same period of time, obviously, a lot of uh, things in the media regarding Islam was being said, obviously, in quite a negative way. But I kind of looked past that because I saw the people for who they were. You know, these were people, you know, subhanAllah, they were, they have a very good heart, you know. And, you know, through conversation with, uh, you know, people, um, I came to learn more about Islam and then Alhamdulillah, you know, I accepted it into my heart. Alhamdulillah. Did you, uh, you, before you accepted Islam, your view, like you said, media coverage was quite negative. Mm. Um, what was your view regarding Islam? Were you scared of Islam? Were you, what was your thing going through your head? I think for me there was no real under, I didn't have an understanding of it because there wasn't much I knew about it. So it wasn't a matter of I wasn't scared of it or anything like that. I didn't hold any hate towards it, but it was just, this is something I have no understanding of, you know. I didn't have, it wasn't positive or negative view, it was just, this is Islam, you know. So yeah. May Allah, may Allah accept you, my brother. Um, Dawood, same thing. How did you, your journey to Islam, how was it like, what was it like, if you could summarize it? Yeah, so I knew about Islam, obviously, through, again, also through the news, um, very similar, very negative um, coverage in the news. So, uh, yeah, I guess I was a, as well a product of this type of environment where, where I'm from. It's also quite negative. There are not many Muslims around. You also didn't really meet any to actually get to know them, which is, I guess, a big problem, obviously. Um, then how I met, so the first Muslims actually talked with about Islam, because I met some before back home, but usually don't really talk about Islam or religion much, it was actually online that I met some Muslims, and one brother specifically taught me a lot. So he put together like a small presentation, answered my questions, uh, answered my doubts as well, 
giving me dawah basically and yeah alhamdulillah uh, after then came to the uk i studied a bit more and eventually then accepted islam was it difficult to accept islam um it took a while to get like the negative preconceptions that you have in your mind out basically because even though you might know logically that yeah okay most of them are wrong if you only know them your whole life it takes a while to get them out but alhamdulillah it went well but you knew that if you accept islam maybe you lose your friends maybe you lose your parents maybe lose your sometimes your future jobs you know you almost like ready to give up everything for islam i mean that's a very big <laughs> stake um how did you manage that overcome all this me, fear mm, for me from my parents specifically i i kind of knew them and i knew they wouldn't throw me out or anything okay. like this so alhamdulillah it was very good and i was right you're the lucky <laughs> one yeah. of course now i think I'm, in this case I'm, i'm blessed that my parents took it fairly well compared to other uh, stories you hear in terms of friends um one one of my friends knows he doesn't really care so alhamdulillah it's going fine otherwise i obviously had the fears of what happens with that tell them but in the end once you accept it you put your trust in allah and just tell them at some point when the time is right mashallah my brother i wish i could do the same honestly if if, if someone asks me to do it i'd i'd love to do it like that because sometimes when you're born muslim it's like I don't know you don't appreciate that much. I think that's that's how I I would see it. You, you have all the structure pray. already there to begin yeah, with. Yeah, see what I mean. So you're not losing anything or you're not gaining anything. You just be part of the system and system makes you move. You don't think too much. And alhamdulillah lucky that we born in Muslim. I don't know you otherwise we wouldn't have a chance. I don't know. I don't know if they couldn't give that uh, sacrifice like you guys have. The same question to you uh, um brother Darsin. Um you knew did you knew that if you become muslim that you will lose this 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 or what the way i saw it is if i was to accept islam and i was to lose people then they never truly cared about me in that kind of way to begin with they never would have perceived me in the way i thought they would you know so if i was to take it in and they were like ah go away like to, what was the point in me knowing you in the first place you know so what was the reaction from your family then so The initial reaction was a matter of concern because obviously the media representation has not been the best and obviously information on it can be quite limited for people so they looked at it through a lens of concern and worry but the more I started to take on the traits that Islam teaches us you know they saw kind of a change in my character and they began to be more accepting of it So yeah alhamdulillah what they upset the first day you you told your mom or parents or brother how did they react um can you share if you don't I mind? don't think it was a matter of like they weren't angry they weren't really sad it was more confusion because my mother obviously is a christian so she can understand faith but obviously you know she may not understand islam and my dad he has no faith so he doesn't understand it at all but i think you know they took it All right. They took it n- not the best, but you know, they took it how they took it. Yeah. Before you told them, I'm sure you were sneaking around and getting the halal food at home or you're praying. W- were you had to hide everything like that? I the way I saw it was this is the truth for me and this is the person I want to be and if they're not willing to accept me for who I am, I'm willing to be on the streets. Uh. Allah I'm Allah willing Allah. to be doing this because you see the truth? Are you going to deny it? Huh? Are you going to blind yourself to the truth? What's the point? You know. Allahu Akbar. Sometimes the truth is bitter, but you taste the sweetness in the akhirah. Alhamdulillah. So for me, I was willing to give it up. May Allah bless you, my brother. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, la ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, walillahi alhamd. Alhamdulillah, brother. Um moving fast actually. I just love to know this before the last step before you do done your shahada what was it do you remember um, and what was your mind going through you know it's interesting i do remember it was i was at home just doing some random stuff here really at home and because i had been thinking about it for a while just you know sometimes you need this push to actually do something when you know you want to do it or know you should be doing it because at this point i was convinced 
but I, I wasn't ready to say the Shahada because you know, it was like in the back of my mind, like, oh, you know, it's such a big step. Can you do this? What if this? What if that? But in the end for me, it was at some point, it was just in a second really, just like at some point I thought, well, either I do it now or I'll do it never. Because if I keep going on with like, what if, what if, what if, and deny the truth, where am I going to go? It's all just going to lead to nothing if I never actually take a step when I know it's, it's, it's the right step. So I've seen, I know I'm going left and right, left and right, left mm. and right. That makes it interesting. <laughs> <coughs> you know the way you said, you have very conviction when you said that if I don't get that, I don't care, I'll be in the street. Now, that's a, that's a really uh, interesting um, word you used. What made you that certain, you know, like that certain that this is the only truth, you know, like there's no black and white with you, you know, like you just said, that's it, I'm going to accept it. What made you, what's, if you compare it, how, how did you come up with that strong uh, um, Iman or Ekin, what you would say? For me, obviously, when I was learning about Islam, I saw a lot of the scientific miracles of the Quran, a lot of predictions that have come true, things like that. For some, a book 1,400 years ago that came from an illiterate man, you know, it's like, how would this man know this, you know? So you just use this evidence, and I base my faith in this evidence. You know? So you studied before you actually <coughs> took the Shahada, isn't it? Of course, yes. So that's a great way to do it. Where you learn and then you practice. That's, that's the <coughs> reason why you learn. How was your Shahada taken then? Your Shahada, how was it on that day? Can you describe that day and your feelings? Um, so this was a week before Eid. No, a week before Ramadan. So I was um, doing coursework for my, like, my school stuff. And I just thought, you know, Ramadan's next week. I want to, you know, take full, have the barakah of it. So I was like, all right, Asalaamu Alaikum, let's, let's go to the masjid. I want to take shahada. So he's like, all right, let's go. So we go, um, you know. Uh, Who's that person? Uh, my brother Omar, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him and his family. Um, he, you know, I've known him for like quite a while. So I was like, you know, Ak, let's go. So we went, it, it was around the time of Asr prayer. So I come in with him, you know, I'm just chilling there like, you know, waiting. And then a uh, the brother comes over, you know, and obviously I explain, you know, I want to take Shahada. And then, you know, when I say it, you know what happens. Uh, you must have experienced this. All the uncles come over to give you hugs. It's like, this is something that I think is a, uh, is a very unique experience because like you complete strangers never yeah. met these brothers in my life and they give me such affection which you know it's this is how i can tell this is the right thing for me you know what because that's the reason i actually to mention your age because you look very young mm. if people are watching to be honest they will say that young boy how would he understand religion and how would he understand maybe he's just been brainwashed that's how people will see it like that but it's not the case with you no you mm. studied you knew what you're doing you wanted to do it it's your choice and you made that happen and mm. you are so you know um, strong with your views and uh, and understanding that's that's amazes me amazes me um, same question, if you don't mind. Your, um, before you took the Shahada, how was that environment at that time and how did you, uh, um, did you have lots of hugs, like he said? Sorry. Uh, so when you took your Shahada, yeah. what was it like? Um, so for me, after I took my Shahada, myself at home. So when I mentioned before, I just took it at home, the f my Shahada itself. By yourself? Yeah, just at home because it was like the push, as I said. Just, oh, uh, I do it now because otherwise I'm going to postpone it to whenever. So, but at that point I... That, that's even better, man. You know, he's not taking chance, mashallah. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, and then I quickly called up the brother, the one I mentioned before, who helped me a lot, showed me, uh, gave me a lot of dawah, called him up and said, ah, could you please go and uh, get a sheikh for whenever, obviously, there's time, so I can organize like the shahada, like the problem with certificate and everything at the mosque. And then, alhamdulillah, it was, I think, a week after that, he got, um, and point with the Imam here at Elam. Um, he brought along some of his friends, some of his brothers as well. And then, similar to you, where I've not met them before, but you know, so you're taking Shahada in the hall, everybody coming around hugging you. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. And shaking while doing it, of course. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Now, for us, to, when we watch you guys do this, 
when we're in the prayer, then we see this thing happens. You know, like, it gives us a amazing feelings, honestly. My subhanAllah, look at that. And what am I doing? Honestly, it, it takes me back, and I wish I could do earlier my journey towards practicing and doing things, you know. I'm in my um, six more years, I'll be 60. Huh? Yeah, six more years, I'll be 60. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not looking for anything. <laughs> it's true. So when I look back, when I look at your age and say, oh, what did I do in that age? I was a bad boy. Honestly, silly. You know, not concentrating on my faith or concentrating the purpose of my life. What am I doing here? You know, this thing never crossed my head. You know, so you guys have started already. You know, so imagine if you, if you want to go to Birmingham and if you start early. You could walk it there, man, so you don't need a car. For me, I started late practicing. So for me to reach there, it's like I have to run. I have to run, my brother. So, may Allah bless you guys, man. What attracted you the most about Islam? First, the initial interest was through uh, my friends, who were brothers I met online, uh, the adab they had. It was really beautiful. And for, Bro. obviously, the, the society, Right, I brother, keep that on your head. Yes. I'm going to start with you. Come. When you said adab, because you learned Islam, adab, you know, like we don't even, we, that word is never been used anymore. You say adab. Why is it so important you think adab is? You tell me. No, 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 because you learned. I, I know, I'm, I'm in the spotlight. Why is the, our character and our um, communication with people so important? He became Muslim because of that. Can you imagine that? Why, mm. why do you think it's important? I'd say character is, um, can be a form of dawah. Because, like, for the Sahabi, the way they would think of the Qur'an was the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He embodied it, you know. His character, uh, more or less, helped people to come to Islam. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad, it's true. So, I'd say character is definitely something that if people embody Islam properly, you know, and you see, like, brothers, you know, going, giving zakah, you know, doing all sorts of things like this, it's like, subhanAllah, look at the humility this brother has. Look at the just passion they have. It's very inspiring, you know? Dear brothers and sisters, I want to ask you something, you know, um, we talked about adab. Adab is that, how we communicate with people, how we practice our deen. If you believe in religion, you should practice it. The adab, Change this brother to become Muslim. Adam is the first thing he looked at and he became Muslim. For me and you, as a, we're naming ourselves as a Muslim, if we cheat, if we lie, if we backbite, if we don't pray, you know, we don't love for the, the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, he backfires. People leave religion because of this thing. How can he be a Muslim and he lies? How can he be a Muslim and he doesn't care for his creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Could be a dog, could be a cat, could be anything. Do we care for the creation of Allah? Is that our respect? Is that how we show our respect to Allah? No, we, we just, you know, out of our head, we do anything we want. One of the part of Iman is moving a, a, a hurtful thing from the road. It's part of Iman. A smile can be a charity. A good word can be a charity. You know, helping somebody else can be a charity. If that was our practice, you know, people would become Muslim just like that. But looking at us now, in the world we live in now, these guys are liars. They do benefit. They cheat. They look at how they treat their women. Look at how they dress. They don't even care to clean themselves. Reality is, I could be one of them. So we need to think about what we're doing, you know. So sorry to use that, but I really wanted to use that just to show that other, a character can play a big role in our life and change people's perception about Islam. My brother, I'll go back to your other view. Said, Mashallah, whoever that brother is. And may Allah bless him, may Allah accept him, and may Allah give him this and well in our hereafter, the best of he, you know, he deserves, inshallah. Please, sorry again, Adab. Yeah, so uh, his character changed your view. His character is really, in the beginning, it was what really attracted me, because back home, obviously people are not that religious. There are some people, but it's usually very liberal. So, and then seeing somebody who actually lives this religion, and seeing how good the religion makes someone, was really impressive to me, which won't made me want to learn, to learn more about it. Then obviously I started asking questions. He taught me a lot um, about, also about obviously the standard questions you have about rulings, what not, about the belief system, Aqidah. 
um, the base, basic stuff really. And alhamdulillah, for me, one of the big things also with Islam was whenever I had a question, I, it always just got answered straight away without any like beating around the bush. It's straight up and there's no confusion about the important parts. Zakallahu khair. Dear brothers and sisters, we're going to for a small break, inshallah. Stay with us. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.